with KHL and two weather, Kamaka Pili. A wet day across the islands, depending on where you are, especially for the west end of the state. And as we take a peek in through our Po'akahi, our Monday to start off the week, here on Oahu, expect it to be a partly cloudy day, but some of those clouds can thin out as we get through the into the afternoon hours. We're going to be setting us up for a wetter than normal trade wind weather pattern, and we're actually starting to see that this evening, too, with some pockets of moisture, especially over Kauai, some of that pockets of moisture sweeping over Oahu today, bringing in some of those clouds and, of course, those windward showers. Taking our threat into our Monday, we're looking at our rains and that fog, that uahi pele, to remain on a moderate condition. Those rains, especially for the morning and the evening hours, afternoon hours should be a little drier compared to that. In terms of our surf first, let's get this out of the way. Two to four footers for north and east facing shores, one to three for south and the west facing shores as well. That UV index coming down a notch with the increase of cloud coverage. Looking at this, this is a water vapor imagery. We see this counterclockwise spiral motion that's indicating a distortion disturbance on the upper levels and that's slowly starting to sweep towards the east but it's creating a really dis, uh, destabilizing the atmosphere especially around its vicinity and what we've been seeing is mainly that going to be impacting the west end of the state with that cold front as I previously mentioned you have the low level moisture coming in you have that upper level disturbance that could only increase that instability that could be increasing showers again mainly for the evening into the morning hours if we take a look at this future radar we're not seeing too much most of that will looks to remain for Hawaii Island, some of that passing over Kauai as well, keeping the central portion of the state mainly dry, but with those pockets of moisture still towards the east of the islands being caught up in these trade winds. And again, we're expecting these trade winds to only ramp up the further we get through uh, the week. We're going to continue to see windward showers remain elevated. For Hawaii Island, we're seeing the day to start off on a wet note, that coming down to around 60 to 70 percent chance. And that's similar conditions for the island of Kauai as well. And it's really Kauai that's been seeing most of the showers come down throughout the the day today we had a, a, a weak disturbance that moved over the island creating some of that for Oahu mainly for Kauai though leaving the opposite end of the state mostly dry uh, but of course we still do have that cloud coverage and Kailua Kona still seeing its afternoon showers as we progress into the new week we're seeing partly to mostly cloudy days ahead of us more than clear and blue skies once we get through the second half of the week because of a new fuel to the trade winds we're gonna see those trade wind numbers ramp up to 20 25 miles per hour and potentially even 30 and surpass as we get through the ending of the weekend. Again, with all of that, a lot of moisture coming in, so expect to keep that umbrella nearby. You may just need it. Sam, I'll give it back to you.